าซึ่งซ้ำที่อันนี้ขอบคุณผู้พูดมากนะคะตอนนี้ก็ยังรู้สึกว่ามันยังไม่เกิดขึ้นนะคะ Just want to say thank you to all of the media and to all of the supporters and fans for all the love, not just for me but for all of my Miss Universe sisters also. ก็ขอขอบคุณสื่อมวลชนแล้วก็แฟนแทุกคนนะคะที่ติดตามกับ Miss Philippines หรือ Miss Universe ท่านนี้นะคะไม่ว่าจะเป็นทาง Miss Universe เองหรือว่าผู้ประกวดทุกท่านด้วยนะคะต้องขอบคุณในนามของผู้ประกวดทุกท่านด้วยค่ะขอบคุณค่ะโอเคครับหลังจากนั้นจะเริ่มที่วันเอนะครับเจ้าหน้าที่ที่จะให้ไมค์พูดถึงข่าวเป็นท่านไหนบ้างครับตัวผู้ชายเจ้าหน้าที่ทำไมเขาโพสต์ดีโอเค I feel incredulous like I can't believe รู้สึกว่าเป็นเรื่องที่เหลือเชื่อมากเลยนะคะ I just got whisked off stage straight after the announcement so it hasn't really sunk in yet maybe tonight when I'm with my family and friends ยังไม่ได้ค่อยรู้สึกว่าได้รับตำแหน่งนี้เลยเพราะว่ายังรู้สึกตื่นเต้นตอนที่เขาเรียกก็คือเดินออกมาบนเวทีนะคะแต่ว่าเดี๋ยวจะรู้สึกว่าเป็นมิสซิโนสมากขึ้นตอนเย็นตอนที่ได้เข้าบอกครอบครัวแล้วนะคะ But I'm just so thankful for the experience here in Thailand. Miss Universe Organization and TBN has looked after us so well. ก็ขอขอบคุณประสบการณ์ที่ได้รับจากการประกวดมิสซิโนสมิสซิโนสครั้งนี้ที่ประเทศไทยนะคะได้รับประสบการณ์ที่คุณค่ามีค่ามากเลยเออตัวนี้ก็ชื่อนะไอ้ตัวนี้ทำงานโปรเจกต์เชียร์ปักตัวนี้ so besides the things what is the your your first country you want to visit as Miss Universe and why thank you such a hard question I have so many in my mind because talking to my Miss Universe sisters and getting to know them for the last two weeks ก็เป็นเรื่องที่ตัดสินใจยากนะคะว่าหลังจากได้รับตำแหน่งเราจะไปที่ไหนเพราะว่าก็ได้รู้จักกับนางงามพวกประกวดจากหลายประเทศเลยค่ะ They've all told me such amazing things about their country so I definitely want to visit Indonesia I've never ever been เพื่อนเพื่อนก็เพื่อนเพื่อนที่ประกวดเนี่ยก็บอกกันว่าประเทศของเขามีอะไรที่น่าสนใจบ้างแล้วก็อยากไปทุกที่เลยแล้วก็ไม่คิดว่าจะไปที่อินโดนีเซียได้แน่นอนนะคะ And also, I would love to take a trip to Europe. I've never been to Europe either. What's so amazing? I know that whatever country I go, I'll have a friend in each and every country. Okay. Congratulations, Thank you. What is the first thing you want to do in Thailand as Miss Well, first, first thing, I really want to see my family and my team because I wouldn't have been able to achieve this without them. Thing first, I want to And other than that, I've been craving the green mangoes from the street vendors and also the Thai milk tea. It's my favorite every time I come to Thailand, so I hope I can have some as Miss Universe. <laughs> Good afternoon and congratulations. Thank you. Okay, so Patrick, now, now that you are Miss Universe 2018, what do you, what would you say would be your first order of business towards your platform? I would definitely love to expand the platform that I already have in regards to education. I work closely with an HIV and AIDS organization in the Philippines. อยากจะขยายการทำงานด้านการศึกษาโดยเฉพาะเรื่องของ HIV AIDS ที่เขาได้ทำในฟิลิปปินส์ค่ะ Something that I feel very passionately about because a few years ago I lost a close friend to health complications with HIV เป็นสิ่งที่เขาอยากทำมากๆเลยนะคะเพราะว่าหลายปีที่ผ่านมาก็ได้สูญเสียเพื่อนที่สนิทเพราะว่าเสียชีวิตด้วย HIV ค่ะ So spreading awareness on that cause and encouraging people to get the simple test and knowing their status is definitely one of my first projects that I'd like to pursue. And other than that, also talking about young education or education for the young children in impoverished areas.
There are so many children that don't have access to quality education, so I would really love to speak on that matter also. And of course, willing to lend my voice to any other cause that may come in my way. Thank you. Congrats. Thank you. Thank you. Well, this is Andrew Kai from Blog Talk and Eagle News Live. Well, I met you earlier prior to the finale, yes. the finals of this universe. And, well, I heard that you're a singer. Are you <laughs> also going to pursue singing? Because you're, you have a great voice. Thank you. I would love to pursue singing. Actually, I released about two and a half weeks or three weeks ago my first original online. It's a single called We're In This Together and it's in partnership with my organization Young Focus in Tondo, Manila. And single is In This In This Together? Mm -hmm. We're In This Together. And released here In This Together. I think music has an amazing ability to connect different people across languages, across cultures. So it's some a tool that I would love to utilize as Miss Universe too. Kita เป็นเครื่องมือที่พิเศษมากเลยนะคะเรื่องของดนตรีที่จะสามารถเชื่อมต่อทุกคนเข้าด้วยกันไม่ว่าจะเป็นวัฒนธรรมอะไรที่แตกต่างกัน Thank you. Okay. Hi, um, I'm Ki from Chennai. We met back at Patia. Um, you mentioned once about the campaign that in the Philippines that you want to help the children. Yeah. You think that is your advantage to win this competition or not? It definitely gave me an anchor throughout this whole journey, something to draw inspiration from and also to keep me grounded and humble. I've been working with that organization for three years now, even before I pursued pageant, so it really is in my heart. And I would be very proud if the judges saw that, and that is one of the reasons why I'm here. Hi, Kat. Over here. Oh, How are you? I don't know. <laughs> so yes, I'm Walter from Rappler in the Philippines. Yes. Now that you won this universe, you know, the next thing is you're going to be moving to New York. How do you feel about that? I am so excited. I have so many Broadway shows that I'd love to see. And it will be wonderful to experience autumn and winter, because we don't have that in the Philippines. เราสนใจมากนะคะที่จะได้ไปนิวยอร์กเพราะว่าเป็นประสบการณ์ใหม่ซึ่งยังไม่เคยไปแล้วก็อยากจะไปดูพวกเอ่อเอ่อบล็อ
This is MJ Marfori from TV Five News. Hi. Hi. So, Kat, what do you want to tell the world now that you are in Miss Universe? And what was the most challenging part about your Miss Universe journey that led you here today? I just want to say a big, 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 big thank you. My heart is filled with so much gratitude. I want to thank everyone in my heart for being so grateful for everyone. It was really, there were moments of doubt where I felt overwhelmed, where I felt the pressure. Because so, of course, so much is expected of a Philippine representative. But I would always look to the supporters, to my family, and to my team, and there I would source my inspiration and strength. And that's why I just want to say thank you because I wouldn't be here without each and every one of those people. Cat, here. Um, in the back, like I'm, I'm doing a where's Wally, you know? Like, I'm like, I'm me, free down from PPTV. We've met before so many times. So, congrats, my man. Thank you. <laughs> you remember my question yesterday that I asked you? Um, you're like, um, a student got straight A from the yeah. Queen Mary. People thought that, like, you know, you're, the way you talk, the way you walk, and everything about you. Do you think it's a key to success or not? Um, I think if you're prepared, because, you know, I really think success equals preparedness plus opportunity. So if you're prepared for the opportunity that comes along, and you're able just to give your all, I think that's really something that could lead you to being successful. Hi, Kat. Hi. I'm Brian from Philippine News San Francisco. Hi. Well, you are known to choose costumes and outfits that are out of this world or have meaningful significance. Yes. What's the meaning of this? Uh, well, this is inspired by Mount Mayon. Mount Mayon is a famous volcano located in my hometown in Albay, Bico region of the Philippines. It's known because it's a perfect cone shape in the volcano. And that's where we drew inspiration from, that magma. Also the color red, because when I was 13 years old, my mother told me, I had a dream that you were in this universe and you wanted a red dress. มากๆเนี่ยเป็นแดนเพลิงเลยเพราะว่าตอนอายุ 50 kilos. <laughs> and the, the belt is 5 kilos. Yes. How did you manage to do that? Um, I, I just, I really just tried my best. Um, I chose that national costume because I wanted to showcase different aspects of our culture as well as the different island groups of the Philippines. <laughs> I was supposed to carry it on my shoulders, but once the lights and everything was installed, I was like, I can't guys. That's why we put it on wheels. But I'm so proud of that national costume because I've received endless comments of fellow Filipinos saying, I didn't know that about our culture, I didn't know about Tinala.
or that they didn't know about different aspects. So it makes me so proud that through that costume, they were exploring the Filipino culture more. Good morning. <laughs> uh, hi, uh, and I'm Claude uh, Louise, sorry from House of English. Hi. I have a question for you. Yes. So, uh, during the preliminaries, you went like super viral for doing a slow turn in your pants. Yeah, tell us about the slow turn. Uh, <laughs> I've had so many people ask, how did you do the slow turn? And I just said, I turned slowly. <laughs> I would love to exemplify in my gown, but since I'm in a gown, I think it'll be quite tricky. Um, because when you spin fast, you have the momentum, which might help with the dress, but since it's a slow turn, the dress won't move. Um, we, me and my mentor, Carlos Buendia, came up with it, just thinking about how could we be different. So thinking of signature moves or things to do on the runway, and that was one of them. ว่าตอนที่คือตอนที่ใส่ชุดชุดว่ายน้ําเนี่ยมันก็สบายสามารถหมุนท่วงท่าอะไรได้อย่างง่ายๆนะคะแต่ว่าพอเป็นชุดรา